Hi everyone, this is uh, Srivel Murugan Vamadevan from Arizona Skunyan family. Today we are going to discuss about uh, an important uh, operation called matrix multiplication. This is kind of an operation uh, which is having its own importance in our uh, day-to-day life of higher level algebra uh, dealing people or um, kind of the scientists who are dealing with uh, um, data analysis kind of the seismic calculation or the aerodynamics area so uh, basically this is kind of a higher level um math stuff but this is very kind of a useful uh, tool for those kind of calculations in this uh, particular section uh, you should have the basic idea about what is a matrix and how you can perform um the operation multiplication um, so we we can first go through those kind of areas um, to perform multiplication what are the um, what are the conditions a matrix should satisfy so um, what in a uh, uh, matrix matrix um, yeah suppose a is a matrix we have uh, one, two, three, four. And another matrix B equal to um, A, B, C, D. I'm actually writing to uh, uh, general matrices just to um, show you whether this uh, these two matrices are uh, multipliable or not so while dealing with the matrices you should have the idea what is a row and what is a column the horizontal items are called the row items and the vertical items are called the columns okay so for the first matrix we have we have uh, two rows this is row number one and this is row number two and two columns two columns this is column number one and this is column number two so in uh, matrices we have uh, a term called order of a matrix order order of a matrix so if we have a matrix with m number of rows and n number of columns we will call the order of the matrix is m by n m by n so um, say for example this matrix is having two rows and two columns so that that the order of that matrix is two by two okay and what about this second matrix this is having two rows and two columns so the order of this matrix is also two by two okay suppose uh, we have uh, another member just like um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, what will be the order of this matrix? This is having three rows, three rows, and three columns. So, the order of this matrix is three by three. Okay, so before we are going into uh, matrix multiplication i actually wish to uh, refresh your memory with these kind of ideas so if a matrix a is having the order m by n and another matrix b is having order n by p we can check whether this is a uh, multipliable or not so the product is A times B. So we can check whether its orders is actually kind of helping us to multiply. So uh, the order of the first matrix is M by N. Order of the second matrix is N by P. So guys, uh, the condition is this. If the order of the, the the number of columns of the first matrix 
if the number of columns of the first matrix is n and the number of rows of the second matrix is also n means if the number of columns of the first matrix and the number of rows of the second matrix is same see is same those two matrices are said to be multipliable okay so if the number of columns of the first matrix and number of rows of the second matrix is same we can say that those two matrices are kind of uh, multipliable those are multipliable okay then uh, usually one question will arise then what will be the order of the product what will be the order of the resultant matrix guys the order of the resultant matrix will be m by p the extremes okay say for example i am having a matrix uh, a with order 2 by 3 and b with order 3 by 5 so guys check whether these two matrices are multipliable yes because the number of columns of the first matrix is 3 and number of rows rows of the second matrix is 3 so we can say that this is multipliable and another thing what will be the resultant matrix the resultant matrix is 2 by 5 these are the extremes i hope uh, you uh, you guys actually refresh your mind or refresh your memory uh, with these kind of things now we can go to the real multiplication how we can perform how we can perform uh, the multiplication so for that i am actually trying to uh, consider one um, matrix a one matrix a a equal to matrix um, one two three four five six seven eight nine so what is the order of this matrix three by three so the second matrix should have three rows now we don't want to worry about the number of columns of the second matrix the second matrix should have three rows okay so negative one zero one okay so i have two matrices a with an order three by three and the second matrix is three by what is the number of columns it is one okay so we can check or uh, we can try to perform the operation a times b okay a times b or the question is find the product of a and b so what we need to do basically is a times b okay first the order check the order is uh, 3 by 3 and uh, 3 by 1 so we found that uh, the number of columns of the first matrix and the number of rows of the second matrix is same so that it is multipliable okay and um, what will be the resultant the resultant matrix will be uh, 3 by 1 so the answer is if the answer is 3 by 1 your answer is correct if the answer is not 3 by 1 your answer is wrong we can check okay so okay so we can try a times b guys to perform this operation the basic idea is um the rows you you have to multiply with each columns okay rows columns rows columns so um 
the first row you have to multiply each time with how many number of columns you have that many times you have to multiply so here you have only um one column so you will have only one set of operation is coming okay so this is the thing one two three so each member of the uh, first matrix should be multiplied with the corresponding elements in the uh, second matrix column elements so first matrix raw elements should be multiplied with the second matrix um column elements okay so one times the corresponding element uh, in the column is negative one negative one then you have to put a plus sign always okay put a plus sign in between the uh, elements in between the products put a plus sign so one times negative one plus next element is two two times zero two times zero plus three three times one three times one guys uh the multiplication process of the first row is completed because we have only one column in the second matrix so uh, we actually completed the multiplication with the first row then you have to uh, move to the second row second row is starting with four so you have to do the same operation with the first column and write as the second row so four times negative one four times negative one plus five times zero plus six times one continue the same operation for the third row seven times negative one plus eight times zero plus mm -hmm, nine times one interesting we did it now just simplify this this is um i'm choosing a different pen one times negative one is negative one plus two times zero is zero plus three times one is three four times negative one is negative four plus five times zero is zero plus six times one is six seven times negative one is negative seven plus eight times zero is zero nine times one is nine mm -hmm. so uh, basically in this uh, particular operation matrix multiplication you should have the knowledge about the sign rule rule of sign of um, negatives and positives so don't um, make any mistakes if you are making mistakes in rule of sign uh, you will get a wrong answer we can check if our answer is right or not okay so negative one plus zero is negative one negative one plus three is positive two negative four plus zero is negative four negative four plus six is positive two hmm interesting nice matrix negative seven plus zero is negative seven negative seven plus nine is positive two surprisingly we got um kind of same elements in all rows or in the column we have the same element okay so uh, our um concern is about the order of this matrix we have three rows so three by the column is one so the order is three by one so uh, what is the order of the first matrix first matrix is of order three and uh, or three by three and the second matrix is order three by one so as per our knowledge the um the answer should be of three by one so we got a three by one matrix that means we are right oh that's good we studied this matrix multiplication and we can uh, look into another um example with more than one column okay that will um that will give you a strong idea about matrix multiplication so basically um 
if you have more than one columns the operations are same but uh, you know it is little bit little bit uh confusing sometimes because the kids are getting confused because of more columns more operation oh my gosh so we want to avoid those kind of confusions and we can create a uh, um a strong base for this matrix multiplication so uh negative one one two uh negative three four five these are random numbers i'm writing uh this is four three two guys see we have a matrix of order three by three and three by three interestingly both rows and columns are same numbers so um the answer is three by three matrix answer is a three by three matrix uh, from the uh, order rule so we can try we can try to uh, start the operation a times b a times b okay we can try to do a we can try to use a different color pen okay looking good so as i said before you have to multiply each row with all columns so i have column number one column two and column three so this is a uh, row one a row two and a row three so each row you should multiply with each columns mm -hmm. okay so row one you should multiply with column one row one you should multiply with column two row one you should multiply with column three so i'm going to multiply okay so guys the first element of row one is one one times one times what is the corresponding number negative one plus two times one plus three times two okay done with column one okay the same row you have to uh, operate with column two one times negative three plus two times four plus three times five interestingly we have one more column so same operations one times four plus two times three plus three times two mm -hmm. then okay so continue with the same operation for the next uh, row four times negative one plus five times one plus six times um, two. Oh, i actually wrote a little longer than the first one so just for our just for our keeping our order so i'm trying to write with a different color so this is a uh, four times four times um negative one plus five times one plus six times two okay that's good so four times negative three plus five times four plus six times five good four times four plus five times three plus six times two that's great we can use another color um so next row seven times negative one plus eight times one plus nine times two okay and next is next column seven times negative three plus eight times um, four plus 
nine times five. Good. So next is seven times four plus eight times three plus nine times two. Great. So now simplify. One times negative one, negative one, plus two times one is two, plus three times two is six. One times negative three, negative three, plus eight, plus 15, four, plus six, plus six. Next is negative four, plus five, plus 12, then negative 12, plus 20, plus 30, 16 plus 15 plus 12 negative 7 plus 8 plus 18 negative 21 plus 32 plus 45 and 28 plus 24 plus 18 mm -hmm. see now we have only just addition okay on uh, negative one uh, negative one plus two is one one plus six is seven okay negative three plus eight is five five plus fifteen is twenty four plus six ten ten plus six sixteen hmm interesting Negative four plus five is one. One plus 12 is 13. Negative 12 plus 20 is eight. Eight plus 30 is 38. 16, 16 plus 15 is 21. 21 plus 12 is 33. Okay. Negative seven plus eight is positive one. Positive one plus 18 is 19. Negative 21 plus 32. Negative 21 plus 32 is what? 21 plus one is 22. 22 plus 10 is 32. So 11. So 11, 11 plus 11 plus 45. 45 is 11 plus 45 is 56 is 56 and 28 plus 28 plus 24 28 plus 24 is 52 52 plus 18 18 is 70 okay so guys this is the answer see basically um if you know the if you know the order okay in which order you need to multiply which row you need to multiply which column which element you need to multiply together so those are the areas you have to practice a lot um so if you can practice a lot with these kind of simple simple problems um it will be very easy to score in this area so uh, this is the answer for this matrix so we had a three by three matrix as the first one and we had another three by three matrix so basically you know as per the order rule the answer should be another three by three matrix so we got another three by three so if we can check the order of the answer matrix the resultant matrix uh and it, if, if it is following the resultant rule so we can say that in its half sense the answer will be correct and the another half is your operations that means the calculation if your calculations are uh, with the negatives and positives is true um correct so uh, then your answer will be completely correct so this is a uh, matrix multiplication